Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. As we're going through Deuteronomy right now, there's different um, rituals and rules, laws, um, that uh, we're going through here that Moses is giving to the people. Uh, really, this is this is not all new information. This is a reminder. And some of the stuff um, that we're going through, it's, it's different. We don't normally do this stuff today. Um, like today, it's an example, and it's um, it, it's really talking about a ritual that happens when someone gets murdered, and we don't know who did the murder, who who uh, who murdered that person. Okay, we, you find the body, and the body's out in a field, and you don't know who did this um, stuff. And what has happened is the land is now defiled because there's been a murder happened, and this was a ritual that was done to. Um, to purify the land okay so uh, I want to to show you this or to read about it here but then also show you how this points to Jesus a lot of the stuff we're dealing with here um, it was given and it was not only an Old Testament law or, or rule or ritual but it was also something that points to Jesus and his atonement for us okay so uh, this is taken from De Deuteronomy chapter 21 and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 9. We're going to take several days, actually, uh, to go through this chapter because there's a lot of little things that he said, but we need to spend um, a day on each of those uh, things, like this one here. So it says this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 21, verses 1 through 9. Um, let me read from the NIV here. When, if someone is found slain, lying in the field in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess... And it is not known who the killer was. Um, your elders and judges shall go on out and measure the distance from the body to the nearest town. Then the elders of the town nearest the body shall take the heifer that was never that has never been worked and has never worn a yoke and lead it down into a valley that has has not been plowed or planted, and where there is a flowing stream. Um, but let me stop there. So what they did is they, they, after they found that body, they measured off to which it was the next town, which you, you might say, which is the next, which is the town that it has jurisdiction over that area. Okay. Much like we'd measure out. This person died out in Mayaka, in Mayaka, let's say they died out in Mayaka State Park. And you're going, okay, who has jurisdiction over it? Is it Arcadia? Is it Sarasota? It's actually Sarasota. And so that's what you would do. And then the Sarasota authorities would come and, and deal with this. Um, and so that's just the way they did it. There in the valley they shall break the neck of the heifer, and the Levitical priests shall step forward, for the Lord your God has chosen them to minister and to pronounce blessing in the name of the Lord, and to decide all the cases of dispute and assault. Then all the elders of the town nearest the body shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. And they shall declare, okay, so they're saying this now out loud. Our hands did not shed this blood, nor did our eyes see it done. Accept this atonement for your people, for your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, Lord, and do not hold your people guilty of the blood of the innocent person. Then the bloodshed will be atoned for, and you will have purged from yourselves the guilt of shedding innocent blood, since you have done what is right in the eyes of the Lord. Okay? So this was a ritual. that There was sin that happened, there was a murder that happened, and then atonement needed to happen to purify the land. Okay? And so that was a ritual that was done. They, they killed that heifer, and when they killed the heifer, they said these things. You know, we do this to atone and uh, purify the land. Now, you're asking, how, how does, this, does this relate to Jesus? Well, Jesus is that heifer, and it's a heifer that had not been plowed or, or planted and where the and where there was a, a flowing stream. So, oh, that's a valley, I'm sorry. The, the valley was uh, not plowed or planted, but this was a, a young heifer. And it was a heifer that has never been worked and it has never worn a yoke and lead it down into a valley. So before you're going to do any work, you got to yoke the heifer. So obviously this heifer had not been uh, used for any work. So pure heifer, not been worked, 
and then it was taken to uh, this area that a field that had not been plowed or planted and it had a stream in it so these things were to be done uh, representing Jesus this heifer represents Jesus and so then this this heifer was it, the heifer did no wrong okay but the heifer died in atonement for that land and in the same way Jesus who done no wrong died in atonement for the sins okay and it all plays out when he is uh, crucified in fact Jesus says father forgive them for they, they don't know what they're doing um, and it, they said also you know Pilate said you know I can't do you want me to release this guy and they said no may his blood be on our heads uh, so the Jewish people had said that so this is a picture here th this picture is of this heifer this innocent heifer that died to atone for the land there and in the same way Jesus innocent as he was he had done no wrong um, he didn't deserve the death but he died to atone for us the sinners okay so it's all a picture pointing to Jesus and you're gonna find many many things like that throughout the Old Testament where it's pointing to Jesus it's not just a random law that God uh, made up because he likes to make laws no it's actually stuff pointing to Jesus and his atonement for us okay so hopefully that helps you let me pray with you Lord God I thank you for this time I can be with everyone here and I pray that we would remember these things of your atonement for us uh, that's the bottom line here as how you atone for us how you saved us I just nasty sinners that we are um, and that we don't deserve it um, and innocent uh, you came along and saved us and died in our place and we thank you for that and the great things you've done for us in Jesus name amen hey I'm a regular dude walking in the word and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue looking at ch uh, chapter 21 here all different unique things uh, that we're going to be talking about here all right Lord's blessing to you